Hey everyone, it's Elaine and Sissy. Yep, she's going to curl up on my lap. Um, I want to show you part two to the pour um, that I did last week. Um, that video had kind of gotten lost in the archives, let's say. Um, I did it two summers ago, I guess. And I actually had finished the pours and never got around to showing them to you. Um, and then last year, we all know what a crazy year, you know, 2020 was. And I, you know, put together my art studio, a.k.a. the Pinecone Cabin. And I don't know, I just never really got around to doing this. So I wanted to show you, I found it um, organizing stuff and I put it to the side and then I put it to the side again and then I just kept putting it to the side. So let's go ahead and undo it here. Now, if you recall, this was the journal that I took apart. It was a casing and um, that says it's a five and a half by eight and a half size and my plan originally was to take all of the pours that I did and do them on both sides and put them back in the book, bound them back, and I was going to um, do quotes, you know, some kind of quote and then probably on a separate piece of paper and then adhere it to this and then maybe decorate a little around it some more, add some more ephemera to it. Well, when I finished pouring this is the depth of the paint just on one side, and that is the ring. <laughs> so, I kind of had to change my mind. And I just want to flip through these with you. Um, it won't take very long. And I'm going to um, ask you if you have any other ideas about what to do with these, other than what, you know, of course, what I say. Um, you know, I'm thinking that, you know, some of them I can cut up and use for pockets or a side tuck or even on the back side, go ahead and, um, you know, cover it maybe with a coffee stained paper or put lines on it and use them as journaling cards. This paper, if I remember correctly, yeah, I think it is perforated. But the problem with it is, is the paint, for the most part, went over the perforation. So I would actually have to put it in a cutter, which is no problem for me. The other thing that I was thinking about is perhaps using them as journal, inside journal covers. Thought that would be pretty cool. They wouldn't match, but I could maybe find two in here that, you know, pretty much had the same colors. But anyhow, let's flip through them and... um you know, I'm just going to chat a little bit. This is the wax paper um, that I always put between pages. One thing about these I have to say, too, is if you remember from the last video, I put them in um, a drink flat and, you know, I would swirl the paint around and I'd kind of scooch them. But what happened is, yes, scooch is a word. What happened is the paint still would manage to seep underneath of it. So because I had put wax paper on the bottom of every box, it was pretty easy to, you know, pull the paper up um, and leave what was attached on the paint still to the wax paper, if that makes sense to you. But this is what it looks like when you do paint pour with, and remember, I used very old paint. Some of my paint had clumps in it. Some of it I was able to dissolve with the flow trawl. And some of it I was not. So there we go. Now I think that one's pretty cool. Um, it has some texture to it. And what's so funny about it too is, I mean, these are still very pliable. Um, it is cool in here today a little bit, but it's, it's pretty pliable. And I don't know, I just really like them. Now some of them are more dramatic than others. But some of them, I don't know, like that one's not, you know, it's not the best. But it would make a cute something. Um, I was thinking even if in many cases, that one I tore, if in many cases, even if I just took a big punch and just punched some designs out of them or die cut it some of them um, and add it, 
you know, a touch inside of a journal or whatever. But again, you know, this was just paint that I wanted to get rid of, that it was getting old. And I find it very hard just to throw things away because it's got a few clumps in it or it's old. Um, you know, yeah, I might get made fun of because my paint doesn't squirt out of the tube just smoothly. But I don't care. I'm, you know, I work hard for my money and for the stuff that I do. So excuse that little noise. That was Sissy and her little grunt. Oh, there's a little something, something. And, you know, on some of these, I have to say, the paint, um, I thought on some of these pieces, I have them tucked away somewhere, these pieces that I pulled off. I said, you know what? I can, like, do something with those. I don't know exactly what yet, but I will do them. This one has a lot of texture. And you can see this one, I must have had to go back and try to do some kind of pour because it wasn't filling up the page. So, and that one I pretty much, I like, I like, I like that one. You can kind of see the cells that everybody talks about. Um, so, excuse me for a second. My computer is talking to me. Uh, let's see here. That one doesn't have a whole lot of color, but nonetheless. And that one, eh, I don't know. The river part I kind of like. But again, until I go to use them. They may not be the most beautiful things as they are, but isn't it a cool idea? You know, and I, I was going to tell you too, I was going to pour on the backside of them. And I thought perhaps what I would do with the backside then is put a cup underneath of it. So if there was any paint, it would just drip right off the edge. But I really decided against that. I, I don't see where I'm going to have an application where I can really use both sides um, comfortably. I may give it a try on some of them. I may try it, but right now I don't have a plan to do that. So, and you got to excuse me. I am doing updates right now on my computer, and it is covering up my screen for my video. It's just one of those days. So here we go. I don't know. I like them. Like I said, this one really has a lot of texture and this one does too. Um, but what a variety, huh? And I didn't have like a ton, a ton of paints that um, I wanted to get rid of. But what's so funny is after I did these and I did, I probably, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> get a drink here. Excuse me. Thank you. I probably got rid of about, I don't know, maybe 20 bottles of paint. Well, now, isn't that just a something, something of pink? <laughs> I think the paint, the pink in that one probably was very, very fluid. And um, the others was not. See, some of these, I don't know. I just really like them. That's why if I can come up with some kind of idea or you can help me, Think of something that I can do where I can leave some of them intact. I guess really, like those two are pretty close. If I trimmed off, well, not even trimmed off the edges. I guess if I bound them like that, they could then become some journal pages. And I just would have to cover the backs. Well, that might just be the plan. Huh, huh, huh. Maybe I just answered my own question. But I've written on that one. I don't know. I just really like it. The colors are not all that dramatic, but look at them. I mean, some of the pores really did come out pretty cool. And if I remember correctly, I want to say I tried to use like five colors. Um, some colors, of course, were more bold than others and, and took over the page as we saw. But anyhow, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed flipping through my hot mess of paint pours and using old paint and seeing what I would come up with. Like I said, this is a part two to a video that was lost in the archives. It was, it was on my computer and I guess I just kept burying it, not worrying about it. And then when I discovered these, as I continue to get organized every day, every day, I found them and said, I need to show this to everybody. Um, so take a chance and, uh, see what you all can come up with 
um, on paint pouring and you know you probably could do it with um like fabric paints or um you know some of the sprays and everything you might have to just water them down a little bit but if you remember i had the one video where I, I I dipped my paint, or excuse me, I dipped my paper in some watered down paint. I used hot boiling water, and it really helped melt the clumps. And then I added some um, little shimmery kind of sprays and everything. I think that what I had was in a bottle. It kind of looked like nail polish. The name of it escapes me now. But, you know, it added shimmer to it. So the possibilities are endless on things that you can do with paper. So I hope you enjoyed this. And like I said... You know, if you don't mind, I put up a video every Tuesday evening. Come on back um, for the Tuesdays to come. I'm on Instagram. I have a Facebook group. Of course, I have a private Facebook. I don't mind being your friend. And, um, you know, check us out. Like I said, my Instagram, I'm trying to, you know, build it up a little bit here and there. And I'll post pictures. And then, of course, you know, I'm here. I'm here. So thank you very much, and I appreciate it, and um, you all behave, and I will check you out down the road, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.